I had to stop the last recording because my roommate came back and she had to do homework and I don't like to disturb her with my tongues and stuff. She doesn't mind them, it's just that when she's doing homework, that's like the time where I'm not supposed to, yeah, make sense. I just like being considerate here, so... <sighs> yeah. Oh, this is such a horrible quality, though. I mean, if I had a better quality, I would just, like, put the clips right in with what I'm saying, but, yeah. I wonder, like, in the miniatures, because these are all miniature things and models that they make. I wonder, um, who wrote those tiny little letters? <laughs> Probably someone knows a whole bunch of more about this than I do. That they didn't write the tiny little letters or they were added on there or something. But if they did write those tiny little letters, that's good. Miniature world. Hand in it. Why does he have a hand in it? Why does he have an eyeball? I don't know what that thing was. Well, he's an evil scientist who's supposed to have all that shit. Your little tiny hands. My laptop's making a whole bunch of noise. It's hard to hear the movie. It's just the CD moving, but getting annoying. Oh, Jack. I just love Jack. Skinny little skeleton. Where did he tear that off from? I know it was one of his ribs, but it looks like he just pulled it out of his coat. He didn't, like, rip it off from his... I probably heard, like... <coughs> Oh, I love the mayor. Who doesn't love the mayor? I don't know. The mayor has was my favorite character when I first saw this movie. He was also the one that creeped me out the most. Two face sides of politics. I love this guy. No, he's not home. He's out doing crack. <laughs> I wonder what his plans are. They just look like, um, a, a cat's gonna fly over a bat and then pumpkins will eat it. Or something. I don't know what his plans are. Two-faced sides of politics. That's what, like, the mayor represents. And it's so obvious, but they do it well. But when I was little, I'm watching this movie for the first time. Of course, I didn't understand. What the fuck? He was sl he was sleepwalking. I don't know how people can fall asleep when they're walking. Well, he's dead, and he's a skeleton, so I guess... Oh, and as I said earlier, do you ever wonder what it would be like if you went through one of these other doors? Of course it wouldn't be the Nightmare Before Christmas, it would, yeah, what would happen if you went through one of those doors? Think about it, because he had so many choices here, there were so many directions on which he could go. But, um, of course, it's the Nightmare Before Christmas, so he has to go to Christmas Town, but, um... I'd, I'd just like to see it, like, in an alternate universe, um, what it would be like if he went through the Easter door, or the Valentine's door, or the Thanksgiving door, how that all would go. And it would be interesting. 
It's probably in a fan fiction or something. I don't know. The only fan fictions I ever read are the Naruto ones. So, I wouldn't know. It's the force! <laughs> the force pulled him in. Or Christmas magic. What did pull him in there? Disney Christmas magic. That, that explains it. Tim Burton and Disney. I never thought they would get along together, but... They make movies like this, and it's pretty awesome. Oh, uh, my sister, she's obsessed with the Fall Out Boy version of this song. I talk about her all the time, but that's probably just because I saw her yesterday, and I'm missing her already. Yeah, she's, like, obsessed with Fall Out Boy and the Fall Out Boy version of the song. She's like, Dana, you have to hear the Fall Out Boy version of the song. And I'm not interested in hearing the other versions of this song. Well, I've heard the Fall Out Boy version of this song, but it's not nearly as good as what Jack Skeleton does. It's just, like, childlike wonder, and I just love it. <laughs> I always love that fat, thingy little... Dude, he cracks me up every time. So happy, Daffy, what, what is this? What's this? Well, of course, my friends and I make fun of this song all the time. Like, we sing this song during Christmas all the time, and we're like, What's this? What's this? Your face! Your face! It's so ugly, we're gonna run away from it! Or something stupid like that. It doesn't even have to make sense. How can you sing that? Oh, I never know the sleeping penguin in that room. Well, not this room, the room before it. But it's probably hard to see because with this poor quality, anyway, no one probably even noticed the sleeping penguin, just like no one noticed the screen. I actually recommend um, seeing this movie in a higher quality after you're done watching this one. And notice some of the stuff that I point out that I notice from seeing this and watching it and talking about it. I'm surprised that kid doesn't wake up until he leaves. Where'd my skeleton go? <laughs> I'm not sure, but isn't Tim Burton the singing voice of Jack? I'm, I'm not sure. That could have been a, a rumor or truth. I don't I don't know for sure because I never bother to do the research because I'm lazy. It's a pole. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's Christmas time. That, and you notice, just after they cut back from the Christmas town, Halloween town looks a little more dark. You know, like a little less cheerful. I wonder what happens to his other split personality when the first one is an atch and it looks like the happy face is just asleep in the back. Do they sleep or something? It, that my megaphone thing that reminds me of Ah Real Monsters. Maybe that was their inspiration for that. Stripe. That striped gum thing? You know, Ah Real Monsters, that show on Nickelodeon when um, TV was actually worth watching in the 90s? Um, yeah, I'm a 90s kid and I was all into the 90s um, the cartoons and stuff like that, like Red and Skimpy, Ah Real Monsters, The Rugrats, stuff that formed my childhood. and the, 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 They were little budget projects, but they had good quality to them and Looney Tunes, stuff like that. Well, anyway, all real monsters, um, just, um, some designs off of here remind me of all real monsters, like that one candy cane, black and white girl. Reminds me of that megaphone, like, so much, but I, I guess just because that the style is similar,
but maybe they had someone who worked on our real monsters. I don't know, but 